Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the Akiyam that are teaching this word. Shalom Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rukha Kodash. Um, this is a video clip here that's just basically going into the England international football team. And it's but the fact that basically most of the players came from where? The, 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 the lands that the crown of England colonised, man. All right, they're basically Jake's basically, man. Most of the players are what their roots go back to what their history goes back to what the slavery of this country enslaving their ancestors man and they're bringing it out even among the they're basically talking about the treatment that the jake players get compared to the white players because you're in slavery man it don't matter you're a, a millionaire football player or whatever man you're still in the eyes of the, these devils you're you're basically their slave still man okay but now they're bringing out the colonial past of great britain all right let's let's go into this does the current treatment of England's black players of, of, of the United Kingdom reflect their racist these, these colonial legacy? You know, the, the, these devils in England. Legacy. With eight players from migrant backgrounds, England has one of the most diverse teams at the World Cup. And many of these players have Jamaican backgrounds. With the likes of Benjamites. Benjamin, the tribe of Benjamin. All right? Because the British, the fucking U, the UK had Benjamin in slavery, man. The, 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 the crown of England, the British Empire, had the C Caribbean islands, man. Most of them. Well, they had Jamaica, right? They had a few. They, have a, they had a few, man. But these devils as a whole had, what, the Caribbean islands, which is where the tribe of Benjamin is, is dwelling at, man. And the tribe of Benjamin is heavy over here in, in England. Of Raheem Sterling, Ashley Young, Carl Walker, and Danny Rose. But the criticisms they face in the... Let me even just say that. Sorry, just a quick one. That's why even the England football team... You know, they're not the best, but that's why they did all right, pretty much. Because you got Jake in there, man. Jake basically is, like, taking, taking even in the, in the sports, in the sports arena, so to speak. Jake's up in there heavy, man. But you're still, you're still niggas to them, man. That's how they look at you, man. And they're showing you that. British media reflect a wider discussion on their Britishness. Jamaica, which had been an English colony. Yeah, on their Britishness, yeah. Ba basically, because they're not white men, man, pretty much. All right? Really, you're Israelites, man. That's who you so-called Negroes are, man. And you, specifically, you Negroes from the, from the Caribbean islands. You're the Benj tribe of Benjamin, man. Son of the right, man. That's who you are, biblically. That's who you are, man. Colonies in 1655 suffered greatly under colonial occupation and subjugation and was one of the major slave markets. It acted as an engine room to the incredible wealth and power of the empire, built almost entirely on slavery. That's how the British Empire got rich, all right? That's how these... Edomites in England, well, all over the world, but we're just specifically pinpointing England. That's how you got rich of a free labor, man, slavery, all right, of, of slavery of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. But this video is going in specifically to the tribe of Benjamin. That's how you got rich off of the slave trade, man, destroying our people, all right? And that's what you still do today, you exploit our people, man. After World War II, England invited people from the Caribbean, including from Jamaica, to help rebuild the country, and they were given jobs in the public sector. Between 1948 and 1971, nearly half a million people arrived in the UK. They came to be known as the Windrush Generation, named after one of the ships that brought them to England. At the time, people living in the former or current British colonies were considered British citizens. And in 1971, the Immigration Office gave these migrants the right to stay in the UK. However, the government at the time did not issue any paperwork or keep a record of those who stayed. So, in 2012, a change in government policy enacted by the then Home Office Secretary Theresa May demanded that the Windrush generation present evidence of citizenship when applying for jobs or when seeking medical services. Evidence that was never issued to them. This left many of them, their children and their grandchildren facing discrimination and even deportation. The policy calls into question what makes someone British, because when the UK no longer needed their help, they could be easily discarded, regardless of their citizenship status or history. The statement is being afforded to English players like Raheem Sterling. There have been endless stories about his blinged up car and you know, his flash house, um, which are loaded phrases in and I personally think are disgraceful. Where historically racist imagery such as money, tattoos, laziness, arrogance and stupidity are used to criticise him. This escalated recently after Sterling revealed a tattoo of a gun on his shin. Although he explained the symbolic connection to his down father, it did not stop cause for him to be dropped. This of... And these guys, I'm not putting... These so-called Negroes that are sold out to Esau, they're degenerates anyway. But the point is that they're Israelites and they're 
in the system in this society you're you're looked at as low basically that's the point man i'm I'm making here that the point is that you so-called negroes in this society these devils look at you with disdain man you're slaves in their eyes man all right of course largely in contrast to the treatment of many white english players past and present for example john terry was accused of racism on the field but still captained the english team in the euros this hypocritical media coverage reflects something bigger the implication is that sterling and any such player are not english enough as in any such play any such negro or foreign player is not english and not, not english enough right that's the point you're not white basically you're not edomites man you know sentiment that white guys get treated with you know tender love and care because this is their world man this is the edomite world man all right brings us back to the windrush generation where people were literally roots all the all the 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 hit the history points back to what slavery it goes back to slavery that's why mo that's why we're all here anyway man we're all here serving these de these devils because they had our ancestors in slavery man that's what you negroes latinos native americans need to get in your heads man all right but only the elect is gonna get it man we asked to prove their britishness so is england just keeping with the colonial legacy in jamaica where it used black bodies for whatever benefit it can then discuss them That's exactly what they're doing. Right, let me get the, these scriptures here. This is um, Zechariah 11, 11 and 5. It says, Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And who slayed us? Who slayed you, Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans? Okay, the so-called white man did. The Edomites, man. All the other nations, but primarily at this present time, it's the so-called white man because that's whose hand we're under. So he slayed us. He's destroyed us, man. And he still destroys us till this day. He still slays us until this day. All right? So it says, whose possessors slay them and hold them. Yeah, they slay you. And now they slay you in them courtrooms, man. They'll, they'll have a Negro in the courtroom, right? And they'll, you know, the judge will give him more years than what's necessary, man. Hell, even give him a life sentence and he, he's, he's not even guilty. But that's how you're basically, we're prisoners, man. All right? That's how they do with us. So they slay us till this day. But they slayed us by having us in captivity, and now that we're so-called we're so-called free, which we're not free, they're still slaying us in their system, man. Grievous laws, all right. Total oppression, man. Okay. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, and that's what they do. They hold themselves not guilty because that video. If you used to mention that to that any average white man, look, your your country's got a colonial history of rape, robbery, and murder. Okay. That's how. You, that's what you did onto the so-called. Uh, uh, West Indians, so-called West Indians, you raped, robbed and murdered them on the islands. Oh, no, 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 don't bring that up. That's the first thing they're going to say. Don't mention that. Because they, uh, 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 it wasn't us. It wasn't me. They held themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for we are rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. So that's the point. Whose possessors slay them, which they've slayed us, and they hold themselves not guilty, man. And that's these so-called white people. They hold themselves not guilty for the crimes that they've committed against our ancestors, man. But the Lord holds them guilty, all right? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because they are guilty and they're going to be judged by, by the true the true judge of the earth, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, let me get this this one here. This is Ecclesiastes three and fifteen. It says, "That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been." Okay, and the Lord requireth that which is past. So when they say no. When people say, oh no, but that was the past, but the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, requires the past, man. So that's why the so called white man's going to be punished in this time that we're living in via the nuclear missiles where America is going to be destroyed in the Third World War. Okay? It's going to be totally destroyed. And the Edomite system, the so called white man system, is going to collapse. It's going to be brought down. All right? Why? Because the Lord requires that which is past. Because the Lord requires what happened in the past. The Lord requires what happened to the children of Israel in the past. Okay? He requires it today, man, upon these devils today, these Edomites today. Because check it out, the reason why these so-called white people live well today is off of the backs of their colonial past. And the reason why you Negroes, are in a you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are in a destroyed state today is because of that same colonial past. That's why you can't get right, you've been destroyed. And that was through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. The Lord allowed it, but still he's going to require the, what these devils did in the past for them to pay today. So the Lord requires the past, man. All right? It says that which I've been is is now, and that which is to be have already been. And the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, requires that which is past. So the Lord requires that what happened in the past, man. Okay? 
And that's what's coming, all right? The Lord's bringing judgment based on what happened to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in the past, man. All right? Okay, let me get this here. This is Ezekiel, Ezekiel 35. Ezekiel 35 and 15, it says, As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, Oh, let me let me let me start. Let me get this from here. Actually, Ezekiel thirty-five and and fourteen. Thus saith the Lord, Power, when the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate, as thou rejoice, as thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate. So will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, Seir, and all I do me. Mount Seir and I do me represents the so-called white man, the Edomites. Okay. As you did rejoice at Israel, as you, you rejoiced when you destroyed our people, you so-called you so called white people. You rejoiced when you destroyed the children of Israel, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And you still rejoice to this day. You're happy that we're destroyed. You're happy that we're at the bottom. You're happy that you're able to oppress us. Okay? You're happy that you have our people destroyed, not knowing who they are. You devils, you so-called white people. Why? Because the Lord said it right here, man. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate. So will I... Do unto thee, thou shalt be desolate. Who's gonna? Who? What's the Lord gonna do? He's gonna make you devils desolate. He's gonna make us laugh at you. He's gonna make us oppress you now. He's gonna turn the tables round, man. All right. So will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate on Mount Seir, and all Idumia, all you so-called white people, you Edomites. You're the Edomites, man. You represent Seir, Idumia. That's you, man. Even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord. And you devils, you're gonna know that. Look, we've been destroyed and been brought down and put in slavery. Because the Lord gave the power back to his people. You're going to know that it was the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, that brought you down. You're going to know, man. The whole earth is going to acknowledge the, the God of Israel, man. And you devils especially. You devils are proud. You so-called white people. You Idumians, Edomites. You're proud, man. And the Lord's going to bring you down to the bottom, man. You're going to be abased among all the nations, man. All right? So with that, I'm just going to say all praises to Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to the Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Shalom.